ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the second half?
Josh's. <laughs> um, speaking of Josh's, Parker, you're there and I'm here. Yeah. Yep. That's what you get. How the tables turn. Yep. Except all of the tables in this room are stationary. Um, hey, hey, Allison, you look decidedly less female. <laughs> That this is Matt, everyone. Okay, let's. There's there's a list. It's in my admin. Okay. <laughs> Next game is called Two Line Vocabulary. I need Parkle. Parker, Parker Marshall, Matt. Players to the front. is a game called, I already said the name, darn it. In this, in this game, uh, two of the players in the game are only allowed to say two lines each. And we're going to get those lines uh, from you, the audience. So, uh, from let's say here and forward, uh, let's, uh, something that your mom might say to you as you leave the house. Don't kiss her. Uh, over here, let's get a, a sort of short question sentence. Would you like fries with that? Would you like fries with that? Um, over here, maybe a, a catchphrase you've heard at the end of a commercial. You don't know me. I'm Wait, there's you, no one you don't know me. And, 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 over here. That's right, I'm not leaving you out. Uh, we need one more question. What is your favorite color? What? <laughs> Have you eaten? Okay, uh, players, please remind us what your sentences are. Would you like fries with that? Have you eaten? <laughs> no, don't kiss her. And also, <laughs> um, you don't know me. 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 Seven more. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure this is going to go fantastic. Uh, last thing I need from you, uh, suggestion to start the scene off. Uh, what's somewhere where you'd be surprised to find carpet squares? Boxing <laughs> rings! I heard, I heard the smell, which isn't a place, but you're taking it anyway. <laughs> Players, are you ready? Yes! <laughs> Thanks for taking me here, honey. Oh, this is going to be a great third date. <laughs> um, so, uh, this place, it's, it's, it has a nice odor to it. Are you sure the food's good? No! Don't kiss her! <laughs> Um, I wasn't gonna kiss her. Do you want fries with that? <laughs> you don't know me! I'm not gonna eat the guinea pig! Don't kiss her! <laughs> Have you eaten? Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, but I'm not gonna eat, I'm not gonna eat pets here. Wait, are you, are you asking me? I'm on a date right now. question.
here right now. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's move on because that seems like the best option available to us. Uh, our next game is called Split Environments, and for this I need Marshall and Rachel. And I need them to go away. say nice things about them behind their back. Okay. <laughs> uh, this game is called Split Environments. In this game, uh, Mar Marshall and Rachel will both be in two different locations, but both of those locations will be here on stage. And they'll have to guess where the other one is. And those locations will be provided by you, the audience. That's improv, that's how we do things. Yay. Uh, so, from this half of the audience, let's get a fictional location. Narnia! Narnia! Narnia. 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 What was that? What? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, yeah uh, I think we took the on the last show. Like I said, I just needed to be the first one out of the ship. So, by now, 
We can go home. Before the Soviets get here. <laughs> Marshall, now do you know where Rachel is? No!
my friend Jimmy and <laughs> Educations before I done got me ship. And sometimes you can really tell nobody's going to want to hire you on their pirate ship unless you've got a decent education. May first mate, his name be Tim. May first mate, Tim, he doesn't know the difference between a differential equation and a partial derivative. How can you properly mug somebody? <laughs> Tuffy, what have you got for us? Thank you for your question. <laughs> just with, I've, I've just with every other study, I feel like we still need to, to keep studying our scriptures. <laughs> but not only that, we need to apply the scriptures to our life. Take Mosiah 3.19 for it. You all know how it goes. <laughs> For the natural man is an enemy to God and has been since the fall of Adam, right? The other day I was visiting my grandkids and they're playing a game called Fortnite. <laughs> and I couldn't believe you have, like, it fit the scripture perfect. For the natural man is an enemy to God. You are in a, a field of enemies, you know? From the fall of Adam, what's how do you start every fortnight? You literally fall from the sky. <laughs> fall of Adam, fall from the sky. It's all out there. I'm just saying, as you as you go about your studies, make sure to keep the scriptures on your in, in your mobile things. You know, <laughs> blackberries. Um, <laughs> you know, you know what I'm talking. You guys are a lot smarter. Than Thank you for that answer. <laughs> I heard you do a thing to put emphasis on things as you young people um <laughs> Man, I felt so spiritually enlightened by that answer, and then I felt even more. Uh, let's get like the first five, six rows. What's been on your mind? Oh. What was that? My neighbor's rats. Your neighbor's rats. Rash. Rash. You know what? Rashes are annoying. And how do you deal with neighbors? Uh, uh, yeah, Elder Tuffy. Thank you for that question. First, uh, mood. Uh, You know, and you guys need to, more than ever, need, you need friends on your, in your squad. <laughs> you know, and the more people you have around, the better your life is going to be. You know, um, that's why um, I just started a topic on my uh, uh, thing, so I can become neighbors with the whole world. <laughs> Think about your influence could be in the whole world. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, uh, yes, Susie. Susie. My mommy says I shouldn't go talk to our neighbors because our neighbors. <laughs> our old neighbors are rash. There are neighboring kingdoms that are rash in my side. I took all my armies and all the spirits that follow me, and I destroyed all my neighbors and deleted that rash from my life. <laughs> Just don't talk to your neighbors because they might be mean and they might have a big dog like my neighbor I just talked about. Uh, still got that beetle in your pocket? That's right here. Uh, thanks, Susie. Uh, Captain Newton. Yeah, he be asking two questions here. For the first one, 
oranges. No scurvy can survive a good orange. That be the advice for your neighbor. The advice for you with the neighbors. Neighbors, they ain't always nice. I'm with the little girl on this one. You see, sometimes you just need to drive your boat right up next to your neighbors. You need to whip out your cannon, and you need to calculate the exact angle and the trajectory that you must shoot the cannon in order to hit them in the face. It doesn't matter if you destroy their castle. People don't need castles to live, they need faces to live. <laughs> you've got 9.8 meters per second down, you've got the velocity of this, and you've got it at an angle that's exactly 63.4 degrees. Now, do you know if that will hit him in the face? Because I do, and I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> Let's get one one last question over here. You you section you. Oh, fashion advice. Wow, fashion. Uh, there was a David Bowie song called Fashion. It, the chorus was the word fashion. <laughs> um. So, when I want to look real pretty for school, I, ha I have this dress that's yellow, and I wear it with my red socks, and, and it's got shoes, and I put my hair in pigtails, and they look really good, and why is everybody looking at me like they expect something to happen? <laughs> yeah, but the, and all my friends say it looks really good. songs all about the plumber. You guys can clap along, but not when they're singing, because then you'll never hear them. <laughs> um, and, you know, I think they're ready. But I'm going to ask them anyway. Players, are you ready? Yes! yes. <laughs>
Okay, just like in the first half, we're having another surprise game because for some reason we're just flying through stuff tonight. Look at you. Yep, yeah, this is the game of Mega Naive Replay, and for this, um, first three people to stand up get it. Um, <laughs> Sound equipment coming in late, we've got extra games. Aren't you glad you're here? I'm glad you're here. <laughs> this game is called Mega Naive Replay. In this one, we're going to see a scene three times, and we're going to see it the same way each time. However, as you can see right now, two people are missing, which means the first time we're only going to see Parker's parts, and then uh, Marshall and Rachel, are going to come in in subsequent rounds and fill in what's missing. Um, suggestion, right? Yeah. <laughs> suggestion. I'm going to the back of the audience because I've got like six different options and that's one of them. <laughs> back of the audience. Let's get a location where you wouldn't want to take your grandma. Uh, I heard Lego. Fuego. Yeah. Not a location yet, but you know what? Uh, I'm going to play Parker. Are you ready? Yes. Shh. I'm going to sneak in. I'm going to switch out the tooth. It's all going to be fine. No, stay here. She's sleeping. Okay, fine. No, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you tomorrow. 
Check it yourself. Love you too. <laughs>
You can, because we have open practices every Thursday at 7 in this very room. Um, and, what, 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 who said that? <laughs> Last thing, thanks for coming, you've been a great audience. Okay, well, I'm not stopping. Uh, our last game of the show is called Meanwhile Elsewhere. And for this game, I need all the players to the front. All right, in this game, we're going to see many scenes happening at once, but they are happening in the same cinematic universe, if you will. Sort of like Spider-Man Homecoming. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, and we'll cut between them, and you'll see it's going to be great. We love this game. Uh, suggestion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, look at this, look at this. I have a bag. I'm putting my hand in the bag. What did I pull out of the bag? I heard, I heard, I heard. I think I heard Trump take, but I'm gonna take jelly beans. <laughs> okay. Actually, let's combine those okay. to tape beans. <laughs> Your suggestion is tape beans. Take it as you will. Players, are you ready? Yes! yes. All right, our project is gonna look so good. Yes, honey, it definitely will. You're yeah. gonna get an A. I am gonna get the best A. Yes, okay. <laughs> As your parent, I am required to say this. Yes. Yes. You are special and you will succeed. And I love you for that, Mom. I <laughs> I get another assignment of lifesavers glued to a toilet paper roll. I'm going to die. Oh, look, how original. They use Skittles instead. <laughs> Meanwhile, in South Dakota... <laughs> no beans. <laughs> Who's been stealing the beans? <laughs> Meanwhile, in the doctor's office... Well, Jerry, I, I got the test results back. What is it? You have tape beans. <laughs> Oh, worst case I've ever seen. How serious is it, Doc? On a scale of one to ten, it's pretty high. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the teacher's office. Hey, Teach. Yes. The usual payment for the egg? <laughs> I knew art school was a mistake. <laughs> He tries to such nice things, these fake beans are gonna <laughs> Our project occurred! 